Hey everyone, good morning. It's William Tackett here, and I wanted to celebrate the thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel by taking you guys on a daily vlog. So it will be my diet, training, and whatever else in between. So hope you guys enjoy, and stay tuned for more content. Alright, so we're gonna get started with some breakfast today. I got to sleep in just a little bit because yesterday was a pretty hard training day. So I'm gonna start off with some eggs and some ground beef. I just normally get like the basic uh, ground beef. I like trying to keep it a little bit more lean, but a um, little fatty tastes a little bit better. And then uh, some eggs and then I'm gonna make some rice and then prep a few meals for today. So, Alright, so first thing I do is to get this pan. And I use a fairly large pan on, on heat so that way it can start heating up. And then I get my ground beef measured out. I normally do one cup of ground beef. Um, I think it's fairly important to measure your food. The reason being is if I feel like I don't measure my food, then sometimes when I'm training I can feel a little bit bloated or get indigestion because nothing's digested or I get hungry and that's no good because then you're hungry. So I always like to measure out my, my meat and my rice. Veggies I just pretty much eat as much until I'm full. But for the meat and rice I always try to uh, measure that out. So I'm gonna get this peeled apart and put in the pan and uh, we'll go for it. All right, we got the meat going. It's seasoned with salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna move on to cracking my eggs. I do six eggs. I'm gonna crack those, whisk them up, season them, and uh, then I'll put them in the pan with the ground beef. Okay, now that while that's going, I'm going to get my other two portions of ground beef set up for my next two meals. And I'm gonna start cooking that singularly over in this pan up here. So I got my second portion of ground beef in the pan cook in real quick. My eggs are pretty much done with my first portion of beef and um, I'm going to take these off, get these in a plate, and then throw my third portion of ground beef in this pan. Okay so now I have some pre-made white rice that was in the um, pressure cooker and uh, we make a lot of it and then we just munch on it throughout the day but I take one cup of the white rice and I just add it to my ground beef and I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to do the same to that one over there. And then I'm just going to mix it up and then this meal will be pretty much done. Okay, so now that this is all mixed together, pretty much the final step is just to add some, just add some diced spinach to both and um, mix that up and then these meals are done and ready to go. Voila. Alright, so whenever I eat breakfast, I like to just sit on the, it's like kind of like a cheap echo bike, but I like to just sit on it, kind of pump my legs just to get my body going in the morning while I eat my breakfast and kind of boost my metabolism. And uh, I take this time to just like put in like some headphones and listen to either like a podcast or some type of motivational speech or something. That way I can just, you know, get the day going in the right way with like the bike, my food and whatever it is that I'm listening to. So, uh, yeah. I know you hate the gym. I know you hate the lift weights. I know you hate cardio. I know you don't like drinking water. I know you don't like taking care of your temple. You think it's the hardest thing to do in the world to commit. But there is somebody who's in the grave today. And if they had another opportunity to live, they would enthusiastically, with great confidence and courage and consistency, do what you hate just to live a little longer. Find the positive. See the bigger picture. Guard your gratitude. What's up guys? Um, I just got in the car and got my stuff together. I'm gonna head to the gym to go teach noon class today. Uh, Professor Rodrigo's out. Uh, normally I'd be training during this class, but I'm gonna be training and teaching today. So uh, stay tuned. Andrew and Caleb, the boys there, they're coming. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the gym. What's up players? What's up? How's it going? All right, all right. How's it going? What are you wearing right now? Anywhere between 160 and 165. Pro tip is basically keep your chin on their trap. If you guys are trying to maintain back control like this, your partner can really move his head from one side to another and it's going to be tough to control the back. So I like to use my bottom seat belting hand to control the tuck to choking arm. That way I can kind of protect my hand here and always still go for the choke and then chin on the trap. And then for me, I always like to fall to the underside. That way I can really wedge my head between his head and the floor. If I fall to the other side, it takes a little bit more technique to keep their head off the ground because it's easy for them to start getting out. So if you're new to it, try to fall to that side. Uh, we're just gonna go from here. So if I'm able to submit my partner, I win. If he's able to escape in any way, he wins. Three minutes on the clock, go and get started. 
person who's defending is defending the whole time. Davis, yeah. All right, guys, class is over, and um, I'm just trying to dry off and quit sweating before I go hop in the shower. But I just want to give a quick shout out to my sponsors, Level Black, and my team, Brazilian Pipe Factory. Without them, this lifestyle wouldn't be possible. So um, stay tuned for the next portion of the day. I'm uh, going to shower up, head home, and I'll see you guys there. What's up, everybody? Back here at the house, and I'm going to get my lunch going, and then just relax until I have to work out again before night class. So see you guys in a bit. All right, so um, I'm eating lunch now, and uh, you might wonder why I'm eating kind of just ground beef and rice, something so simple all the time. Um, I choose ground beef because I feel like it's, uh, it's it works well with my stomach, so that's important with like really any diet is making sure that it works well for you and you feel like you perform well off of it. I like beef over chicken. I think it tastes better, and um, I don't really feel any difference as far as like the way my gut reacts or anything. So I like uh, beef. Ground beef is cheap and uh, easy to digest, so I normally choose ground beef. But um, and I do beef all day, pretty much every day, just because it's easy to digest. My stomach's used to it, and uh, it gives me the protein and energy that I need. White rice is super easy to digest as well, so I just pretty much stick to those two for uh, my meals throughout the day is white rice and beef. And then I'll just throw in whatever veggies with it. Um, I did spinach today, but sometimes I'll do like green beans or broccoli or even Brussels sprouts, just kind of whatever. So it's like around 4.30 now. I uh, was able to hit a pretty good nap. Um, I like to take naps in between hard training sessions. It helps you know me get through the day and uh, helps me to where I can operate off less sleep at night so um, even though I'm trying to get as much sleep as possible to help recovery but uh, I have my next meal here that I made earlier this morning it's my third meal I'm gonna go ahead and down this while I'm hitting my workout with Caleb and I'll take you guys along with me so uh, yeah let's see the workout <laughs> going on guys we just finished up the uh, workout Caleb and I now Andrew Caleb and I are heading uh, to the gym to go do night class Cody still is teaching tonight so should be a fun one lots of takedowns but uh yeah see you guys there what's up, what's up, what's up?
What are we doing right now, Cody? So right now, we just got done doing some drills, um, and now we're doing only takedowns. Okay, so as you see, takedowns. The only things they can do is kimuras, guillotines, and um, yeah, stuff like that. Just submissions from the feet. Sweet. <laughs> Nice exchange. Nice job, guys. What's going on guys? Just finished my uh, training session here at the Fight Factory in Cody Seals class and that's pretty much going to complete today's vlog. So um, uh, basically I'm just going to shower up, go home, eat some food and then I'll be done for the day and get some rest for tomorrow's training. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. This video is dedicated to the 1,000 subscribers and celebrating that. Thank you guys for just making this YouTube dream possible and you know following along my journey and uh, just supporting me along the entire way. So. I'll uh, be training for trials coming up, so expect some footage out on that. Um, some more roll breakdowns, and some rolls I've had this week, and um, yeah, just some. If you have any ideas for new content, comment in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That means a lot. Check out my sponsors, Level Black, and uh, if you're ever in town, come check out Brazilian Fight Factory. I'd love to get some rounds in. It'd be a lot of fun. So appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh.